Tammy and I are really excited about the employee assistance program. I, I, I don't think we need to try to tell anybody that the last couple of years have been tough. I, I mean, it, it's been not just our health concerns, but just the stress and the just, you know, living, learning to work and live differently, you know, and trying to get your kids through school and all of that is just, it's, it's been rough. And uh, we want to support our employees. And so I, we, we did some research and found the um, employee assistance program that is, it's offered through the standard. And if that sounds familiar to you, that's because the standard is the company that um, that the state and Shepherd um, uses for long-term disability insurance and short-term disability insurance. So then they contract with a company called Health Advocate for, for these EAP services. Um, and I, I think the thing that people are gonna like about it, it I, I had no idea EAPs included so much stuff. I mean, I thought it was just basically counseling and that's it, but they have all kinds of resources and Tammy's gonna talk about those. Um, they, you know, the, the, there's counseling in person or virtual, and then there are all these work life programs and, and resources that they have. So I'm gonna turn it over to Tammy and let her walk through um, some of the services and resources that the EAP offers and and we really hope that everybody takes advantage of this. It's, um, I, I think there's a, a lot there for you. So, Tammy. All right, thank you, Ray. I'm gonna share my screen. Okay, can everybody see my screen now? Perfect, so this is, the new, newly created web page that we created about the employee assistance program so that you can find some um, high level information about the program. And as, as Marie mentioned, it's the company name is called Health Advocate. And you can see here that the employee assistance program does help with a variety of, of issues or concerns that employees may have. And it gives you just, um, a, a, again, kind of a high level list here of the different types of issues that an employee can contact the EAP about. So that would be things like stress or anxiety, relationship, family or parenting issues, substance abuse, anger, grief, loss, uh, life transitions, financial or legal concerns. And then there are referrals for additional treatment because as Marie mentioned, Employees basically are getting up to three counseling sessions with a master's level counselor um, per issue. So if you want, if you needed to call, for example, about something related to stress, um, that's one particular issue. And then later on, you are experiencing grief and you're needing some assistance or support for that kind of an issue, you can call and that is treated as a separate issue. And so, um, so, so those are just a few examples and I'm gonna show you some more information, but um, all employees are eligible to utilize this service. So all full-time and part-time employees, including any household members of those employees. Um, so at all of those um, are eligible to access the EAP services. And you don't have to be enrolled in the PEIA health insurance that we offer to employees. So if you are on a separate health insurance plan through a spouse or you just have a separate plan, that's perfectly fine because it's not um, restrictive in that regard. So you can access this um, if you need to. And here on this webpage, it shows you a few different ways that you can access the EAP services. So the first one is the website that they offer. Um, which I'll be showing you in just a few minutes. And there's a ton of other information that they have on the website. And there's a phone number, of course, that you can use. And this phone number is available 24 seven, 365 days um, a year, and you can contact them at any time. We mentioned earlier in this uh, website that it is, uh, if you have like an emergency situation, uh, crisis situation, you can contact them. Like 
I said, 24 seven. There's also an email address that you can utilize to ask questions or, or um, request resources. The last link that we have on the website is basically, I'm gonna just show you here, is it, this is a list of resources that the EAP has provided to us. So it, it kind of gives you an overview of these different topic areas. So as an example, um, we were talking about stress, or I was mentioning that if you click on this, it pulls up a flyer that will give you an overview of the type of resources that they have available on that particular topic. So again, you know, coping with, with suicide, you know, there's just a flyer again that gives more detailed information um, that you can review in advance of calling if you'd like to do that, but just a way to, to, to get more information on that particular topic. So those links should be very helpful for employees. So as I mentioned, there is a specific website, healthadvocate.com slash standard three. When you click on that, it brings you to the, the EAP website through Health Advocate. And this is where you can find additional resources. So first of all, the phone number is listed at the top so that you um, have that ready and available if you need to to call them, or if you're just wanting to do some research on your own to find some information, you can click through any of the links here at the top of the page in the orange bar going across the screen there. And it will give you a summary of those services. Um, so you can just see kind of a quick overview here. And they do have videos as well. There are, um, under this helpful links, it's on the right-hand side as well as at the top of the page. There are, right, as you can see on the page here, there's links to additional information or just other websites that can provide resources and information. So there's a ton of, of information that is available here. And I can't even, uh, you know, show you everything, but if you have time, I, I think it's really a great resource if you're just looking for information, but obviously by calling them, they're also going to be able to direct you to the right place to find additional information. Um, when you call, you know, like I, we were mentioning, there's there's just so many things that they are available to help employees with. They even provide you know resources in the community that you can access for childcare needs, um, pet sitting services. There's just a lot of, of good information that they can provide to employees. So we're, again, really excited about being able to offer this. And Marie, I don't know if there's anything else that you wanted to add uh, to what I've well, already. That, that's a really nice, thorough um, overview. I, and you can see their, their website's pretty nicely done. Um, one thing I would mention is it's our understanding that when you call, um, so you're getting, when you call the call center, you would, you'd be able to talk with a counselor that way. But one of the things that they told us is they ask people for their health insurance information. And we said, well, why are you asking for that if this is outside of our, you know, health plan? And they said that the reason for that is because it's probably not uncommon, I'm guessing, um, to, that they end up referring uh, people to, to a provider, again, either, either locally in person or, or virtual. Um, and, and so using Tammy's earlier example, if you, if you call and say, I'm having trouble with, you know, stress and, and you get your three session that you get, you start talking to them about that. I, you know, we haven't tried it, so I'm not sure at what point they say, you know what, this is, um, you know, you're, you want to, you need to go more in depth and I'm going to, uh, you know, hand you off to this other counselor. But um, my point is that the people that you, when you call, it sounds to us like the health, the, the call center people themselves are also, you know, trained and able to help to some extent. And uh, right, Tammy, is that a, a, an accurate way to describe it? That they're going to go a certain, they're going to do certain things, but if it starts to get into like, okay, clearly this is going to be a longer term thing, 
they're going to hand you off. Right, and refer you to a counselor within your network. So that's part of the reason for the health and health insurance information. They're going to try to find a provider that would be within the network of your health insurance plan that you have. So that's the piece that they're trying to coordinate by asking you for the health information. And I, and I did want to mention a few other things. So the sessions can be done um, in person, on the phone, by video or text. Um, that's the different ways in which they can communicate with you. And they do have a mobile EAP app um, that you can utilize. Like I said, you can call them over the phone, um, go online. They have a live chat and, and the email that I mentioned before. And all of these services are completely confidential. I also wanted to mention that. Uh, so there is no information that is shared with Shepherd University um, at all. So we don't know who utilizes the services. Uh, so it is completely confidential. That's a really important point, Tammy. Thanks for remembering to say that. Yeah, it's, it's not, you know, they're not gonna be reporting back to us about, um, you know, any of that stuff. So that's just completely between you and them. So any questions? I'll stop sharing. Tammy, I have a question. Um, who pays for this service? So Shepherd is paying um, for the, the service. Okay. Thank you. You might keep an eye on the chat, Tammy. Uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I didn't uh, see it. Actually. Melody was having trouble, uh, so she may type something. Um, anybody else have any questions? Is this, do you guys have this for like a year or is it a multi-year thing? Uh, we, we have signed uh, an agreement with them and, and we will have it until we discontinue it. Um, so it's not, I mean, I think what we might at some point, Tammy, and this just occurred to me, but it might be a good idea for us, you know, six months or so from now to do a quick survey and say, hey, is anybody using this? Are you, do you like it? Is it working for you? Because we, we want to make sure that it's something that's a benefit. Yeah, that's a great idea. I was going to recommend that to Marie. I was going to say just to see how it goes, because I know when we first started with like telehealth, we thought a ton of people would use it. And then we just didn't have the turnaround, even with students. It really surprised us. So I think surveying is always a good idea. It looks like a really cool resource. Um, I, even just their website, even if you just go through their website and mm -hmm. look at the resources that they have, I think it's that's good. You mentioned students, and you're right. When we had Teladoc, that was available to students and, and to employees. Um, this this service, this EAP, is is only for employees. As Tammy mentioned, it's full time and part time. That includes adjunct faculty, um, but students that does not cover students students have the student health center right the, the counseling center so right that's, that's where they go um do you know what their turnaround promise or guarantee do they have anything that gives you an idea of like how quickly you're seen by seen by a counselor or that you have an appointment with someone to talk with a counselor well, Tammy, I, I, my impression is that when you call them, you're going to talk to somebody right away, right? That's right. I, so, Rachel, as far as your question about in person, we have not been given any information about that. I can look into that for you. Um, so if you did want to request an in-person session, I, I'm not sure about the timing on how quickly you can get in. So I'll see if I can get any information about that. I think that would be good to know. I, I guess my point is that it's not like you're gonna be just left hanging while you wait for somebody to call you back. You know, meanwhile, you do have support. I wondered about that because I know a lot of our students and I know for myself trying to get just healthcare, finding a doctor that had an opening 
at all, let alone a counselor in the middle of the pandemic when counseling services are so hard to get into because everybody is overwhelmed. Um, all the providers in our area are kind of at a crisis mode right now. So having another option is great. I just wondered if if it was a, I, I would be surprised if, the, I mean, I would think they would be able to call you and triage you kind of like a crisis line could, but I didn't know if you would have to wait like, we can fit you in in a month for a counseling session or if it's it's more immediate than that yeah that's a great question and i'll i will find out or see what information i can get about that tammy there is a question in the chat uh teresa smith is asking uh for the minutes who is clementine 2020 did you mention that oh she's asking that who that is Never mind. We don't know. <laughs> yes. Who, whoever Clementine 2020 is, please uh, message back and let Teresa know your name so she can put you in the minutes. Sorry about that. <laughs> so um, does anybody else have any questions or comments regarding this service? Anybody going to use the pet sitting? <laughs> I've got one more question for okay. you. And, and and that question is just, I'm guessing, because this is paid for by Shepard, is this a short-term like paid for out of our CARES Act funding because it's mental health uh, and relief? No, this is, or is this, this a regular? Is a, this is not, I mean, it's COVID related in the sense that everybody's, <laughs> you know, needs support, right? Yeah, now. yeah. No, it's, it's ongoing. Several years ago, we had an EAP that was a contract with a local agency and we discontinued it because um first of all not very many people were were using it and we would get reports on this many people used it because we were paying per person so almost nobody was using it and and we actually got some negative feedback from people who had used it so that i, I you know i i don't feel comfortable recommending a service that's kind of iffy so that, that's another reason I'm, I'm really excited about this this one it seems comprehensive it seems um you know it, 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 they they see i i'm i'm intrigued to know uh about their you know how they do their recruiting and hiring and making all that people available because um they they certainly you know are offering a lot of of services uh, did um, somebody no Melody yeah. has a question, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I saw the question from Melody. And, and yes, there are um, some legal services available. So for example, I know um, under their legal center that they have here, they have um, basically some templates of wills or trusts or different types of legal documents that they can um, help you with. I don't know the extent to which they, um, you know, offer true like legal counseling, but I think that there's different types of legal uh, agreements and things like that, like I said, that they can get you access to, to for you to utilize. And so that is kind of a whole, a whole separate topic area that they do have resources available on that website, on the Health Advocate website. Besides that email that was sent out, how are employees being notified of the service? So I am including information um, in the benefits orientation materials that I provide to new employees. So that's how new employees are being notified. Um, otherwise, you know, like I said, we, we were just communicating it uh, to the campus through email and our website. We are planning to, um, you know, determine what other communications that we want to have about the EAP just to get the information to employees and make sure everybody's aware um, that they know about the service. Yeah, if you have ideas for marketing it, let us know. Um, Alex uh, is working on a, a flyer that, that Tammy is going to use, as she said, for the new employees. Uh, or, you know, when they do their benefits, but, um, you know, part of it, you know, you guys can help, you know, spread the word about that when you have, when, when you have your, you know, colleagues um, who, you know, if you hear anything, I mean, be sure and, and help us promote it because 
Um, it's, you know, I, I, I think and I, I believe that people will find it to be helpful. 